Hi, I'm Steve at the Carmichael Workshop. Today I'm going to mount about 180 pounds of vinyl records on the wall. Vinyl records are pretty heavy, so I made some measurements to figure out what's the best way to split them up and mount them on the wall. A couple requirements I have are that I want to be able to see the album covers facing forward, and I want to be able to flip through them and find a record. So I've decided to build three identical racks that I can mount on the wall, and each rack will hold 60 pounds of records. Uh, each rack will have four bins across, so four bins times three racks is going to give me 12 bins. Uh, so I figured out that if we stacked our entire record collection up, it would be 60 inches tall. So 60 inches divided by 12 bins uh, gives me stacks of five inches uh, to put in each bin. So I think that's going to work out pretty good. Let's take a look at the plan that I've drawn up. This is the front view of the rack, and it's going to be 55 and 3 quarter inches wide by 7 and 3 quarter inches tall. And it's going to extend out from the wall uh, almost 7 inches. The bottom is going to be made from a 1 by 6, and it's going to have dividers that are spaced 13 inches apart where you place the records. And it's going to have slats across the back to mount it to the wall with some smaller slats on the front to keep the records from falling forward. This is my cutting list. This is an actual size diagram of an end piece. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than the inside dividers uh, because it has to cover up the 1x6 on the bottom. You'll notice that the front is slanted to help with flipping through the records. And here's an actual size drawing of the smaller divider piece. I'll make this plan available on my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com if you're interested in building one of these yourself. I've already gathered all the lumber I need to make three of these racks. These 1x6s are going to be the bottom pieces. This section of 1x8 are going to be the end pieces. I'm going to cut the slats from these two 2x4s and then I have a stack of poplar cutoffs that I'm going to use for the divider pieces. So to get started, I'm going to cut these bottom pieces to length. I'm going to use my paper template to cut the two angles on one of the divider pieces on my bandsaw. And then I can use that piece to set the angles on the miter saw to cut the rest out. I can use that same method to cut the top angle on the six end pieces, but for the front angle, I'm going to have to just cut one on the bandsaw and then trace it on the remaining pieces and cut those out. Because at the bottom, uh, the angle kind of turns to be 90 degrees, so it matches up with the front edge of the bottom piece. I've already cut these 2x4s to match the width of the rack, so I'm going to rip this one down into half inch thick strips for the back, and the other one is going to be smaller strips for the front. everything sanded so I'm just going to assemble these with some glue and brad nails and then I'm going to add some screws for strength since the records are so heavy.
good. I've got all three racks put together. So now I'm just going to spray paint them with some of this Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Black. painted and ready to hang on the wall. I was going to hang them on this wall over here, but it's not really flat. It's kind of wavy, so they're going to have to go on the wall over here, which I think will work out better anyway. So let's hang them up and see if they will hold all of our records. These vinyl record display racks look a whole lot better than having the records in crates on the floor. And just about our entire collection fit up there, except for this small stack. So my estimate was pretty close. If you'd like to make some of these, head over to my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com and download the plan. If you make some, just make sure you fasten them really securely to the wall studs because these records are heavy. That's about 180 pounds of records up there. If you like this project, please click that like button and share this video with your friends. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and also click that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'm going to pick out a record to play. Hey, how'd that get in there? That must be my wife's album.